G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on the major cellular features within the seminiferous tubules. That is, looking at the spermatogenic cells and the uh, NER cells or the Sertoli cells um, and the other, the other surrounding structures. Um, and the reason that I'm doing this video is because um, this testis isn't particularly well preserved. And uh, if you're out there in a histology lab somewhere in the world, you may have a similar section like this, one with a section that's not particularly well preserved and you're still asked to actually interpret what you're actually looking at. So what I'm hoping is that this video will sort of help you out in a relatively not so well preserved section of the testis. Uh, and then in another video, I'm going to show you a lovely preserved section of the testis and we'll be able to identify all the different features much more easily. So hopefully you'll find this a little bit useful. So let's start our three minutes. Okay, so we've got a magnified section here. This is um, of the, the testis stained with H&E. Sort of zoom out a little bit so you can actually uh, get an idea where we are. Um, so if we sort of zoom in again, uh, this is the testis. It's got the uh, dense connective tissue capsule, the tunica albiginia. And so we've got all of these seminiferous tubules here. Now we're going to zoom in, so don't get too seasick. Um, we can actually have a look at this seminiferous tubule in a bit more detail. So if you remember, on the outside of the seminiferous tubule, we have these myoid cells. These flattened nuclei belong to several layers of myoid cells. They're contractile. They actually uh, contract and help to move the sperm through the seminiferous tubules. Um, you may not know this, but when the sperm are first produced, they're actually are motile. They can't actually swim on their own, so they're immotile. Um, and so they actually help through by uh, being within this testicular fluid produced by the uh, nurse cells or the Sertoli cells, and then they're um, contracted um, and forced through the seminiferous tubules. So we've got lots and lots of different cell types here, lots and lots of nuclei. It looks like very busy tissue, doesn't it? Um, and interpretation can be a little bit tricky. Now, the first cells which uh, we can identify are these cells here. You can see the nuclei with a little prominent nucleolus. You can see them, um, if we sort of zoom around, we can actually start to spot them a little bit more frequently. These are actually the supporting cells. These are the sustentacular or nurse cells or Sertoli cells. And they have receptors for follicle stimulating hormone, which causes them to stimulate spermatogenesis. It also causes them to produce the testicular fluid and they produce an antigen binding protein, which helps to keep the levels of uh, testosterone high within the seminiferous tubules, which is important for the final stages of spermatogenesis. Genesis. Now, knowing spermatogenesis uh, is important to uh, help identify these different cell types. So the cells which sit on the basement membrane with these round nuclei down here, these are the stem cells of spermatogenesis. These are the spermatogonia. Um, and they actually undergo mitosis. One of those differentiates, enters into meiosis 1 and becomes known as a primary spermatocyte. And the primary spermatocytes are these large cells with the weird looking chromatin, very irregular appearance to their chromatins. You can see some over here as well. So those are the primary spermatocytes. They enter into meiosis 1, undergo the first mitotic division to produce two secondary spermatocytes, which then immediately enter into meiosis 2 to produce sper spermatids. So these little round cells out here, these are the spermatids. Okay, so um, they're actually um, spermatozoa, which actually haven't transformed yet. So they undergo a process called spermiogenesis to produce these mature looking spermatozoa. So you can see the really dense nuclei, their tail would, um, flagellum would point out into the lumen here. So these are spermatozoa. So those are the major cell types which we can actually see within the seminiferous tubules. We've got our Sertoli cells or our nurse cells. We've got our spermatogonia on the basement membrane. We've got our primary spermatocytes, our spermatids. We don't really see secondary spermatocytes because they're not in the testis very much uh, for very long before they become sper sperma spermatids. And then we've got our spermatozoa, these uh, dense nuclei here, uh, which are our final form. Anyway, um, that was our three minutes. Um, I hope you found that useful. We'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!